Ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing today? I have uh, a game for you in light of the recent weather, which has been stunning for some reason. Sun everywhere, all across the sky. Uh, I thought I'd bring you a little bit of a weather war. This is a game that I took uh, a little while back against a guy called uh, Gearflow. I think he was on uh, either my stream or Smogon or something, can't quite remember. But it's a very interesting match. He has a very, very standard sand team. And I basically just took some Ninetales and threw some sweepers on it with some relatively interesting sun sweepers I guess or just sort of lower tier stuff but um, I know that I'm going to have a difficult time in this match uh, simply because he has like a ton of threats like Landers, Terrakion, all those guys and it's going to be very difficult for me to pull this off but uh, I guess with the right prediction I will be able to do so and talking of the correct prediction turn one is exactly that I know that his Landers is going to want to U-turn on the first turn it is most likely going to be scarfed and doesn't want to lock itself into Earthquake on the potential that I switch into something to dodge it or just resist it and uh, he's going to go straight into his turn Anitar, as I get to set up a Toxic on it, which is fantastic, because Ninetales, uh, this Ninetales in particular is a relatively interesting set, it's a sub-disable Ninetales, um, something that I guess can work uh, efficiently, Ninetales isn't super fast, not on the sort of same scale as Gengar is, but it does uh, pack some speed, and it can definitely outspeed a Tyranitar, so I'm going to set up a substitute right here, as he tries to Pursuit Trap me, um, definitely uh, trying to get initiative there on the Weather War, knowing that I'm going to have to keep nine tails alive if I want to win the weather war and he obviously wants to get rid of me as soon as possible. Pursuit, one of the best things in Tyranitar's arsenal to help against other weather starters. So he is going to switch out here thinking that he's going to be uh, not be able to break my sub or something or whatever. I just had to disable uh, just on the off chance that he wanted to try keep pursuing me or something, I don't know, so that I could switch switch out freely if he did break my sub eventually, but Disable doesn't do anything because in comes Rotom, and uh, my last move is uh, Fire Blast, so I'm just going to go for it, I kind of thought that he would be Scarfed and he'd just Volt Switch out, which is why I just went for the Fire Blast just to hit the switch in, um, but he turns out to be not Scarfed and he still has the Volt Switch, I guess, um, doesn't take the Fire Blast nicely because I do crit him, uh, do a very, very hefty chunk to that thing, uh, Toxic would have been nice on the Rotom, I guess, but um, getting uh, a crit fire blast is no mean feat either, so it's definitely uh, definitely working out, I guess, for me in the end. So, in comes Terrakion, and I'm guessing it's either choice scarfed or banded. I'm kind of feeling banned more than scarf, though scarf is still a possibility. Uh, just thinking that he has Scarf Landers, he might be running Banded Terrakion, but I'm not sure. So I go into Donphan to kind of scout and see uh, what's going to happen, see how well I can do the close combat. I take it alright, like with around half HP, and I'm, I'm definitely thinking this thing is Scarfed. It's not, I mean, Banded is powerful. Terrakion has a lot of power behind it with a choice ban, so I'm thinking that is a Scarf Terrakion, seeing as I lived it relatively okay. And at this point, I am able to set up my Stealth Rock freely as he goes into Selby. Now, Selby's going to be a little bit of a problem, especially if it's a Giga Draining set. I don't want to be uh, going up against that thing with Donphan for sure. Um, Ninetale seems like the best switch in, just because I can threaten him straight out with a Fire Blast as soon as he wants to go for a Giga Drain. Uh, I'll probably be able to outspeed him as well. Um, but any other kind of thing on my team, which is Fire type, can sw kind of safely switch in on this thing I'm feeling anyway. So I'm going to go to Ninetales, first of all to set up the sun and second of all to take the Giga Drain or whatever I predict. He actually goes for the Psychic and um, I guess I'm relatively okay invested in Special Defense and Ninetales base spec D is pretty nice in general. So I do take it pretty well I guess, as, as well as the Ninetales can take one. Um, and I go for the Fire Blast, which in the sun is definitely going to take that Celebi out. I guess he over predicted slightly, uh, thought that I would go for a Toxic or maybe a Substitute predicting his switch. But I just made the obvious play, and in that scenario, it works out perfectly because Celebi is now out of the game, and uh, that's one less thing my Don fan has to worry about, which is great. So, in comes Terrakion again, I have to keep Nine Tails, as is evident in any weather war. Must keep your weather starter if you want to be winning out in the end. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to preserve it, I'm going to go out into my Don fan, and he's actually going to show Earthquake here, which, um, which actually works out pretty fantastically because he can't two hit KO me with the Earthquake simply because he lacks the stab on it, and obviously, because the thing is scarfed, it's just not going to be doing enough damage to me. So it gives me a free opportunity here to just go for uh, whatever I want to. I actually decide to switch out knowing that he's probably going to want to switch and I go into my shift tree um, as a sort of multi-purpose thing because if you wanted to stay in an earthquake, I could take that. If you wanted to switch out to something else, like the Rotom, I can directly threaten that with a seed bomb and he's obviously afraid of it so he goes into his Skarmory to take it. Now, Skarmory is really the one thing on his team that will stop my shift tree from sweeping just because it has massive 
acid defense and it just resists a lot of my hits. Uh, I'm going to have to take that thing out with hopefully Darmanitan or Ninetales, one of the two things, before I'm able to uh, sweep with my shift tree. That's kind of their main goal in the end, either victory bell or shift tree sweeping uh, with sun to back them up. So. He's going to go into his Tyranitar here, uh, predicting me to go for uh, some kind of move. Uh, I think there was a double switch that occurred there with Tyranitar coming in and uh, Darmanitan coming in, as you can see, after turn effects happening. But uh, what happens now is he's obviously going to predict me to go for the superpower. But at this point, I know that this is my perfect opportunity to predict the Skarmory, to get rid of it. So I do predict his switch into Skarmory. Get off that Flare Blitz. It isn't in the sun, but it is coming from a Darmanitan, and Darmanitan hurts. Uh, I believe this is my choice banded Darmanitan. It isn't a Scarfed one, so that is easily going to destroy the Skarmory. Take that thing straight out. And now I have uh, a little bit of a gap where I can potentially get rid of uh, Titar with some prediction with the superpower from Darmanitan, and uh, maybe something else to make sure that my sun stays up, and uh, I'll have the opportunity to kill the rest of his guys. So, uh, in comes da Donphan on the Landorus. Obviously, he has the Sand Force going for him now. He doesn't actually kill me, which leads me to believe that this thing is Scarfed as well. So, he's running Scarfed Terrakion and Scarfed Landorus. Uh, both very threatening in their own uh, terms, but uh, as generally, what he's going to go for, he's going to go for the Earthquake. I'm going to live it, thankfully, and Ice Shard is really my only option here. I probably should have predicted the switch to Terrakion and gone for the Earthquake. It would have been nice to land a little bit of a dent in that thing, but Ice Shard is going to be a tiny little dent in itself, and um, gives me a little bit of room here, just to scout what move he's going to lock himself into by going for the Ice Shard, get a little bit more damage. Uh, I actually land a crit there, which is kind of nice, I guess. Uh, doesn't make too much of a big difference in the long run, because I guess any move from something like uh, Shift Tree in the uh, sun will be able to outspeed and kill him. So, it didn't make too much of a big difference, but uh, I know he's locked into close combat now, and I can easily go into Victory Bell, which resists the close combat at this point, and uh, even though I don't have the sun up, I know that nothing on his team wants to take a Leaf Storm, and uh, he he definitely doesn't want to stay in with his Terrakion and leave that to die. Uh, so he's going to switch out into his Rotom, take the Leaf Storm and uh, lose that thing. The thing was at very low HP to begin with anyway, so it wasn't really too much of a sacrifice. Uh, just let it die and uh, makes not too much of a difference. But at this point, he obviously thinks that I'm just a specially based uh, Victory Bell. Th so he's going to go into Tyranitar with a decent amount of health, thinking that with the Sandstorm boost and with the minus two special attack, he's going to be able to live a Leaf Storm. However, I am packing a mixed Victory Bell, which means I'm able to pull out the Power Whip, outspeed the Tyranitar, and kill his Weather Starter right off, which is absolutely fantastic. It now means that I have Ninetales with the advantage, and I'm going to be able to outspeed a lot of his guys with Shift Tree and with Victory Bell, thanks to that Chlorophyll boost. So, I'm going to go straight to Ninetales at this point. It really serves no purpose anymore. Uh, I don't care if it gets uh, killed, because now I have the Sun up. The rest of my three guys left, I believe they are Shift Tree. Um, actually, I have Volcarona as well, so Volcarona could potentially do some damage to his team if that managed to set up a couple of Quiver Dances. So, I've got lots of Sweepers remaining, I have the Sun up, things are looking good, and I'm hoping to uh, do some work here. So, I'm going to go into Victory Bell, and I am stunned because Scarf Landorus still outspeeds my Victory Bell, even with the plus two speed, and he's actually going to be able to take me out with the Earthquake. So, that was a huge error on my part. Really big mistake. I should have definitely gone out to Shift Tree, because I know Shift Tree resists the uh, the Earthquake, and I could outspeed it with a Seed Bomb. Losing Victory Bell there was a pretty, pretty bad idea, and uh, it really left me at a little bit of a disadvantage. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Volcarona here, knowing I can take an Earthquake from the Scarf Landorus, and and um, I'm going to go for the Fiery Dance. Doesn't quite kill the Terrakion on Switch, and I would have Quiver Danced, but he has a Scarf Terrakion, which still outspeeds a plus one Volcarona. So... At this point, things are looking pretty difficult. He has the Terrakion, which is Scarfed, and he still has that Landorus, which is Scarfed, and both of these guys are going to make my life a real, real pain in the ass. So, I don't know what he's going to lock himself into with the Terrakion. If it had been Stone Edge... Uh, Volcarona would have been dead. I had no chance. So I'm going to go out into Darmanitan as Death Fodder because Darmanitan will not outspeed either of those guys. I just want to see what he's going to lock himself into. Thankfully, he locks himself into Earthquake, which means I can take a Scarf Earthquake, definitely live it, kill him with a Fiery Dance, and then kind of leave myself open for the final Landorus to come in and do whatever he wants to me. Um, at this point, I think I only have Volcarona and Shift 3 left, and his last guy is Landorus. So this is really coming down to the wire here because dependent on what move he decides to lock himself into, it's really going to turn the tables and uh, 
just make things uh, make things happen, really. Uh, he's going to go for the Stone Edge. Thankfully for him, it doesn't miss. It's going to take Volcarona out. And uh, really, this is where it comes down to the, the wire, because I have Shift Tree, which I know can outspeed Landorus. At that range, I'm hoping that a Seed Bomb with a Life Orb and Stab should be able to take him out. So I'm going to go for it. This is really where it hangs in the balance, because I'm pretty sure a Stone Edge will take out Shift Tree. He lives with a tiny, tiniest amount of smidgens, goes with the Stone Edge, and misses the hit, which is... It just saves my skin completely. That tiny little bit of hacks at the end. And Shiftry, the bearded woman, is going to come out on top. Take the win with a 1-0 victory. And uh, hell of a close match. Really, really, uh, really close one. Um, I definitely didn't think I should have won that. I, I was at a distinct disadvantage. Just because his team was just generally well built. And it was a solid Sandstorm team. And all I did was just throw some guys under the sun together. Uh, literally under the sun. And it kind of worked out in the end. I uh, made up that misplay with Victory Bell, which kind of cost me a little bit. Uh, not too major, but it was a little bit of a deterrent, I guess. Uh, and in the end, just finally being able to dodge a Stone Edge was uh, hella lucky. I don't know if I would have lived it. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't, just because Shiftry is very poor on the defensive side. But I guess that's how it goes sometimes. Hacks is hacks and uh, it happens. Um, but it could have gone either way there, I guess. And uh, the hacks god decided to smile on my favour in the end. So, Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. A little bit of a longer one than usual. But uh, it was a, a bit of a more interesting game. So I thought I'd slow it down a bit more than I usually do. Uh, and explain things in a little bit more detail. So thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like below. That would be very healthy, helpful. Uh, make, me, make me smile, I guess. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.